Do you want to sink? No, you don't want to sink. So we have to talk about this. It's the first thing you should check on a new to you boat that's already in the water. It's the first thing on any boat that will try to hurt you. I'm talking about through hulls and sea cocks, the tiny portals in your hull that stand between you and becoming an accidental submarine. So let's start with the basics. A through hull is literally a hole in your boat, a hole, a deliberate one. But designers punched a hole through the boat for a reason. They stick a fitting in it and they say, there, that'll let water in or out. And it sounds insane, the same way it would sound insane to cut vents in the side of a Ferrari to keep it cool. Except the Ferrari doesn't sink when you get it wrong. A seacock is the valve attached to that hull that decides whether the ocean is loud inside your boat or not. Think of it as the bouncer at the nightclub. The sea is the drunk guy trying to get in, and the seacock is the beefy bloke at the door saying, not tonight. When the bouncer quits, the entire place floods. But here's a fun fact. A one inch hole just three feet below the waterline can gush about 34 gallons per minute. That's like leaving your garden hose running full blast straight into your living room. No bilge pump on earth is keeping up with that for very long. So yes, this topic matters a lot. Let's talk about materials because not all through hulls and seacocks are created equal. There's brass, which is cheap and shiny and lovely until it suddenly isn't. Brass suffers from dezincification, which basically is the ocean whispering, I'm taking your zinc, until one day your brass fitting becomes soft, mushy, and structurally about as useful as a chocolate teapot on a sunny dashboard. This is the stuff that snaps off in your hand and makes you immediately reconsider every life decision you've ever made. Next up is bronze, the king of underwater metals. Bronze doesn't care about your corrosion. Bronze wakes up every morning, flexes, and dares the ocean to try something. If you can afford bronze, it's the way to go. Now, all this talk about failures brings us to maintenance, the thing that separates the boat owners who sleep well at night from the ones who lie awake listening for dripping sounds. You should operate every seacock on your boat at least once per month. Open it and close it. Make sure it moves smoothly. If it takes two hands and a grunting noise to move, it's a problem. It should be smooth, predictable, and decisive, like a well-made gear shift, not a rusty garden tap behind your shed. Give the hose a good squeeze too. If it feels soft or brittle, or you can hear cracking when you bend it, replace it. A $40 hose is infinitely cheaper than raising your boat from the marina floor.